Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naisha if you're new here. And in today's video, we're going to do a little Sephora haul. So before we jump into the haul, if you're interested on this look I'm wearing, it is a look with the Sydney Grace Warm Deep Bag, the mystery bag that I got. All the details and everything else that's on my face is going to be with the Instagram post that has this look. So of course, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is always linked down below. And in today's episode of How Annoying Can My Neighbors Get, uh, someone has a new dog that incessantly yaps. So if you hear barking in the background, I'm sorry. Try to tune it out like I do. Okay, so I just wanted to hop on and do a quick little Sephora haul. Normally I haven't been showing Sephora any love because a lot of the things that I would go to, go to Sephora for, I've been getting better deals on the actual brand website. For example, Fenty does 30% off friends and family as opposed to Sephora's little 15%. And Urban Decay, I got 30% off. Um, yeah, so basically all my money's been going to Ulta. Sephora's been getting the shaft. So I did see a couple of things that I was really, really interested in that I could only get on Sephora. So I wanted to share those things with you. So the first thing I got was this Sephora Favorites Hello bag. This is sort of like a mystery box slash subscription box. I know they used to have Sephora Play, which was $10 a month, and it was just like a regular subscription and you would get a lot of sample sizes, some new and exciting things, and I think they canceled that. And now they, they have this Sephora Favorites Hello. This is basically a bunch of um, sample sizes, deluxe sizes. And then what I thought is interesting is that you get coupons for like 15% off your next, if you love it and you wanna buy the full size perch, the full size, you get 15% off that purchase. So I really love trying things. I love deluxe sizes, sample sizes. For me to try it out, if I love it, then I'll get the bigger size. So let's jump into this and see what we got. So like I was saying, this is not a subscription. It used to be a subscription, but now this is kind of like a one-off purchase and everything in this bag was $10. Okay, so like I said, we get a 15% off coupon. It says if you thought the trial sizes were fun, just wait till you get the full sizes. So there is a, for each of the items that are in here, there's a 15% voucher off for each specific item. First thing in here is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. So it's essentially a little moisturizer for normal to dry skin. I have more combo normal to oily skin. Um, so we'll see how it works. It's a cute little sample size, eight milliliters or 0.2 fluid ounces. And this moisturizer is supposed to be hydrating and soothing. I really do love the Laneige brand and so far everything I've tried from them I already like. I love the sleeping mask. I put it on every night. Love it. Okay, next thing in the box is this Living Proof Restore Repair Mask. So basically it's a hair treatment that you, after you wash and condition your hair, you put it in, coat the hair, and you leave it in for five minutes and then rinse it off. And I have curly hair and sometimes when I don't moisturize it the way I'm supposed to, it gets a little dry. It gets a little, you know, tough in there. So every now and then I like to do a hair mask to kind of replenish it and bring it back to life. So I'm definitely glad to try this out. Okay, so next thing in the box is this Victor and Rolf Flower Balm sample. So this is a very, very popular perfume and very, very expensive. I think that a regular size is like $120. So this is really just a sample size. You can use it a couple of times. I have a slightly bigger <laughs> one of this that I got in my glossy box a couple months ago. And I try to use it sparingly because like I said, it's $120 for the full size. But you know, I could use it a little 15% off. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God. Ooh, it really does smell good. Okay, next thing in the bag is this Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. So I do have another sample Youth to the People that I got as an add-on in one of my Ipsy bags. I actually never use it. I think it's an overnight a sleeping mask. So probably I'm gonna try this out. I'll probably use the sleeping mask as well. I've been hearing a lot of good things about the brand Youth to the People, so I'm excited to try this cleanser out. It's a nice clear, cleanser and it's basically a daily green juice cleanse for your face with cold pressed antioxidants to remove impurities and keep skin's pH balance. Cool, try it out. Next thing in the box is this Nude Stick Nudies all over face bronze color. 
and it's in the shade Sunkissed. So this is a bronzer. It's actually not a bad color. Like even for my skin tone, this could probably work well as a cream bronzer. I have tried a couple other nude stick uh, products recently from my boxy pop-up haul. I'll link that down below if you're interested in seeing it. So I have the all of a face stick and then I have the concealer and then now I have the bronzer. So I'm building up an entire face of nude sticks here. Interesting. Well, like I said, this color looks pretty good to work. It'll probably work well as a cream bronzer on me, so definitely going to try that out. Okay, and the last thing in this, I keep saying box, it's a bag, um, is this NARS lipstick in the color Tolid, Toled. So it's one of those itty bitty lipsticks. And this is the color, a nice pinky nude. I'm always here for a nice pinky nude. Definitely one of the kind of colors that I like. That's really nice. I have a couple of NARS lipsticks. I like them. They're pretty good. This is good to throw into your purse or, you know, when traveling. And this is a really nice pinky color. I like so that was everything in the Sephora favorites bag. Hello bag. Um, I think that was actually pretty good for $10. I got a really nice group of items, uh, high-end items that Sephora always does and some things that I'm excited to try and you never know. I'll probably use that 15% off and get the full size. So let's see what else I got. I also picked up this Sephora favorites give me some shine lip set. So I was influenced to buy this. I've seen this all over Instagram. Everybody's talking about this. And then when you think about it, it's actually a really, really good value. So it is actually five lip products. Two of them are full size and the other three are deluxe samples for $29. So basically it's like you get the two full size ones. You pay for the two full size ones and you get the other three for free. These are all the five products, super cute. There is the Lancome Juicy Tubes in Original. This color is called Spell. It's a beautiful pinky shimmery, has some gold shimmers in there. So this is kind of like those old school um, lip gloss tubes. I heard this is supposed to make your lips super juicy. I've been wanting to try these, but I think they're like $20 something dollars. And I know ColourPop has, like six, has it for like 6 or $7, dollars, but I'm excited to have the Lancome formula that a lot of people rave about. Then also in here is this Patrick Ta Major Glow Lip Shine in She's Expensive. The packaging on this is so beautiful and high-end looking. It is a very light nudie champagne gloss with some sparkles in it as well. Can't really see it, it's clear. It does feel like it has a nice formula not too sticky excited to try out some patrick ta some of his products have been looking really interesting to me so i'm keeping an eye on his products i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try some things especially those blush duos they look really good so when there's a sale i'll probably try some more of his stuff out but excited to try this lip gloss next thing and this is a full size the fenty beauty gloss balm in fussy so I can't remember, but I have I have the regular gloss balm. I have like four of them around the house, all over the place. And then I have like the little tin where there are four or five uh, sample sizes. I think Fussy is in there. I'm not sure, but it's the little ones. So now I have the full size of the glossy, more pinky one. It is so pretty. I absolutely love the Fenty gloss balm formula. It is so juicy and shiny comfortable on the lips absolutely love this formula and so glad that there's so many other color i know they also came out with a more orangey color i have the mini of that and then it's beautiful and they have a full size of it so maybe when my little one runs out i can get the full size but for now i have the fussy so happy that there's a full size of this in there also in here is this look at this beautiful packaging it is a rose gold coppery looking packaging so high-end looking it is the nars afterglow lip balm in orgasm you know they are obsessed with orgasm jesus christ anyway so this is the color it's basically a lip balm so i mean i'm saying color but there's really no color to it it's a lip balm 
and it's a very expensive lip balm i think it's like 20 30 dollars for this lip balm so of course it's the orgasm color it's a nice kind of peachy color with some gold sparkles in it um there's really not a lot of color payoff this is just a real nice lip balm to make sure your lips are juicy and not crusty the packaging whew, is absolutely beautiful and you would not catch me paying 25 or 30 dollars for no lip balm people like nars and pat mcgrath I don't know who does it i mean god bless you i love it i mean i wish i could do it but i can't i can't bring myself to pay 30 dollars for a lip balm no I'll, I'll wear chapstick i'm good or i'll wear my fenty gloss balm for 18 dollars. but anyway as usual i'm off on a tangent absolutely happy that i have this uh full size nas lip balm in this set so 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 worth it for this and the fenty last thing in here is this Too Faced lip injection extreme instant and long-term lip plumper so i thought this was cute in the uh in the set um i don't need lip plumping i have beautifully juicy lips already I and mean, i'll try it to see if it does anything if it makes it even juicier you never know but i heard that like, these things can get uncomfortable i never really was into lip plumping stuff obviously uh but hey it's worth a try maybe it'll do something that'll change my life you never know so i'll definitely try it out it's a lot of product in here so i know this is gonna last a really really long time a lot of people swear by this although it's a little bit uncomfortable but i'll try it okay so those are all the products in the sephora favorites born to glow oh give me some shine uh lip collection i thought that was really really nice totally worth the price of 29 dollars so excited to have that and i'm gonna pay more attention to these sephora favorites because i always see people talk about it and you really seem to get a really good value in those the next thing i got was this cute little ula hendrickson set so this was actually on sale this is originally i think 30 dollars, and it was on sale for 21 dollars. and when i purchased all of this they were doing like a double triple quadruple uh the points so i got double points on it too on everything here too so that was pretty good so this little set is called the Balanced Babies. It is a mattifying oil control set. I've been wanting to try some Ula Hendrickson uh, skincare products. So I've been eyeing one of these little baggies with the, the deluxe sizes. So when I saw it was on sale, I was like, oh, definitely. Let me grab it up. And it's an oil control set. And I have oily, acne prone skin. So I definitely wanted to give this a try. So in this little set, we have the counterbalance oil control hydrator which is basically a moisturizer and there's a fruit extract and AHAs in here and this is supposed to help control well everything in here is going to help control the oil let me not say 12,000 times but this is basically a moisturizer I think it's really nice that it has a pump on it too so you can really get all the product out next thing in here is the balance force oil control toner so this is a really pretty good size of 2.2 fluid ounces facial toner and you use the toner right before you use the moisturizer this is what I'm super excited for in here we have the cold plunge pore mask so after you wash your face you put on you put this on your face you leave it to dry for like 15 20 minutes and then you wash it off and then you follow up with the toner and the I seem to be going backwards and then you, fo you follow up with the toner and the moisturizer but I've been seeing a lot of people rave about this mask online that is really good for your pore to clean it out and help reduce it and you guys know anything that helps to reduce these craters <laughs> that I have here I will try so I've been wanting to try this so I, when I saw it was in this set that kind of propelled me even more to grab this set besides the fact it was on sale you all know that's my middle name yeah so I'm super excited to try this I think I'm gonna try these for the rest of this week I'm gonna try for the rest of the week and then hopefully by the time I post this I can put a little note in the bottom how I feel about any of these things okay and last thing is in here is the pore balance facial sauna scrub so is is the facial cleanser well actually this is not a cleanser because you apply this after you clean your skin so you clean your skin and then you use this scrub and you're only supposed to use it two or three times a week okay so you cleanse then you use the scrub and then you tone and moisturize so i like scrub i like exfoliating my skin both physically and chemically not at the same time but i do like exfoliators and this scrub definitely excited to try this out 
So that was really nice to get those four cute little uh, deluxe sizes in that bag for only $21. I think that was a steal of a deal. Last couple things I got, you know, Sephora always like to, to give you the little, the little samples, the little... That's how... I don't, I don't even know what was the point of those, but anyway, the little samples. So I also got this uh, Victor and Wolf Spice Bomb Night Vision version. I don't know if this is a men's way. Oh yeah, this is a men's version. I'm gonna have to give this to my husband. So it is, uh, I guess, the men's version of the Spice Bomb. Hmm, I'll give it to him. Maybe he'll like it. He's not a fan of colognes, but... Or maybe I'll like it and I'll wear it myself. We're all gender bending here. And I also got a sample of the Drunk Elephant F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial Mask Hydrant. So this is basically an overnight mask. So I think there's like there's maybe one or two uses in here but I love overnight masks at the end of my nighttime skincare I always finish up with one to kind of like seal everything in and I keep saying even though my skin is oily hydration is what prevents it from being oily so I always like to make sure that my skin is hydrated especially before I'm going to bed where it soaks everything in so this is a cute little night mask I'll use it a couple I only there are only like one or two uses in here so i really don't know what i can tell after using this one or two times but i'll try it i have it i'll try it anyway so that's it that's everything i picked up in my little mini sephora haul i felt like i haven't been given sephora any love at all so i was really happy when i found some things that i actually liked and i was excited to order if you're interested in any of these items and you want to hear my opinion on it how it felt how it was how I use it, if I like it, if I don't like it, leave me a comment down below. I'm always answering my comments. I'll probably leave a comment about the Ula Hendrickson stuff because I'm excited to jump into that right now and start using it. So I'll probably start using it from tonight. So by the time this video goes up, I should have a little bit of an opinion so I can leave in the comments. I also have another haul coming up, which is like my makeup haul that I've, after my quarantine haul, yes, I kept hauling. There are some other stuff that I got. Some of them you've already seen before, but I wanted to do a collected haul of all the things that I picked up. Um, the first haul is going to be near the end of May and throughout June. And then later on, once everything comes in, I'll do July. I got a lot of good stuff and you guys can tell me what you want to see. And if you're excited, if you're as excited as I am for the crap that I buy. But anyway, that's it. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!